Hi folks, Max from ACC1Root.com. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, get S off on our bootloader for our ACC1. This should work on uh, all the GSM, AT&T, T-Mobile, International, Unlocked, Verizon, also Sprint. Uh, first, you'll have to have, uh, you have to go to settings and go to uh, develop and options. If you don't see it, go to about phone and hit build number a bunch of times uh, until it says you're a developer. And then you should be able to go to uh, developer options or developer development because I'm using a custom ROM here. Uh, and also make sure USB debugging uh, is checked on here. All right. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and connect it to your computer. And uh, when this program is running, make sure you check um, because you will have to enable USB uh, debugging access for your computer. Um, so make sure you do that uh, while the program is running. So let's go to our computer. All right, next you'll have to download a Rum Runner S off. Um, simply go ahead and uh, uh, go to this site. I'll have links to it if, um, on my site. Also check it out. I'll have all the stuff you need to download. Um, you can use either Windows or Linux, but for this purposes, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Windows. If you're using uh, Verizon ACC one, download the uh, the Verizon version. Otherwise, get the universal version. So I've downloaded Run Runner, um, and let's go to the next step. All right. If you download the Run Runner blah blah dot zip, if you unzip it, you'll get a folder with a bunch of files. All right. And basically, you have to run soju.exe. Um, that's pretty much does the job. Now, make sure you have uh, drivers installed. If you don't have drivers installed, uh, you may have to install them. Um, to check it, go to your device manager. And uh, you should have something like My HCC there or Android ADB interface. If you don't see that, uh, I'll have drivers um, you can download. It's just a .exe file. Uh, you can go ahead and double click and install it. Unplug your phone and plug it back in, and you should be all good to go. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and run soju.exe. All right, and just simply type yes. And this will go basically through stuff you got to do. Um, and uh, it will go through this and it will go to number two um, and number three and a bunch of stuff and you'll have to say yes again and uh, we'll be able to hopefully um, get this thing get the ball rolling here uh, give it a second here and say yes all right, and you may have to uh, just watch your phone when this is working. You may have to enable USB debugging on here. It will ask you pr probably. Sorry, that's my my Java going crazy back here. Let me go ahead and undo this. All right, give it a second here, and say m make sure you hit OK when you see that. All right, that's why I told you to watch your phone and it should reboot into fastboot in here in a second and uh, here we go here we go all right here we go it has rebooted into fastboot and now it's booting device waiting for ADB all right and it's gonna boot and uh, if you have trouble doing it, um, well, you shouldn't have trouble, I guess. I have look, uh, just custom ROM running here. If you have trouble, you can try with stock ROM, but it should work regardless of what kind of ROM you're using. And here we go, it has rebooted. And make sure you hit OK when it reboots. All right, and uh, it should reboot into Fastboot soon. And here we go. All right, make sure you hit OK. That's probably the hardest part, um, the USB debugging part. 
and it says booting device uh, must sanitize skunky brum is nasty uh, hold please all right and give it a second here All right, now it is rebooting into bootloader again. And waiting for fast boot. All right, and it is in fast boot mode. And now it's rebooting again. And we got liquid smooth boot up animation. All right, make sure you hit allow USB debugging on. And it's going to ferment again. All right, I'm just going to leave it down for now. All right, make sure you hit OK if you see USB debugging. Just keep watching the screen because this is not an automated process. You have to keep, uh, make sure ADB is connected. I'm gonna leave it down here. And just make sure your screen's on and you keep watching it so you don't miss the USB uh, enabler there. Otherwise, it will break the program, obviously. All right, now it just rebooted. I'm not sure what it's doing. And it's just rebooting. All right, and make sure you enable USB debugging, allow USB debugging, I mean, when it reboots. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna set it aside. All right, make sure you enable uh, debugging. All right, make sure you watch that screen. All right, again, I'm gonna go ahead and hit again, okay. All right, my phone has rebooted uh, again. And I'm gonna go ahead and enable USB, allow USB debugging when this is done. And hopefully we'll have uh, S off soon. All right, and it's taking a lot longer than I expected, but it must work. Make sure you hit OK. And 
and again okay all right it's actually rebooted into some kind of bootloader mode I just saw ACC logo and now it's rebooting I think it flashed uh, something there and I'm gonna let it boot and I'm gonna make sure ADB is connected again so probably the hardest part is uh, hitting this button here while it's working I'm not too much of a big deal I'm gonna let it sit here I've got the USB debugging on again. I'm going to hit OK. All right, my phone is rebooting. And it says S off. All right, there we go. S off. Uh, if you are having trouble, um, just make sure you have the drivers installed for Windows. For Linux, um, you don't need drivers installed, so it should be a lot easier. Just make sure you watch for the ADB. Uh, anyway, that was how to get S off on your ACC one. If this video has helped you get S off on your ACC one. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at the acc one root.com. We update you once a week with Rama Week tips, hacks, and more.